Ciao! Welcome back to a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some important information in regards to the Black Clover's anime season 4 that is set to air on December 8th. But before we get into this absolutely important information, I do just want to say for all my manga fans out there, guys, last week's live stream was absolutely insane. We had over 190 live viewers in the live stream. As always, I will be live streaming tomorrow. So guys, I really hope a lot of you are able to join. If you're an anime related uh, fan, guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel. You'd probably most likely not want to join the stream as it will include manga spoilers. But with that being said, we have some important updates in regards to the Black Clover anime season four. And as always, be sure to join Discord. Jumping straight into it, as most of you know by now, with all my update videos I've been doing in the last couple months, the Black Clover TV anime season 4 officially starts on episode 155, which is not this upcoming week, but the next week. This upcoming week is episode 154, which is the last episode of the season 3 of the Black Clover anime. Now remember... TV Period only do this every 51 or 52 episodes. They class Black Clover as a brand new season. Now, apparently, season four has already been confirmed for 52 episodes. So, this will go from episode 155 all the way, if my math is not bad, to episode 207. So, yo, for the next year, we're going to be with black clover and hopefully it's going to be epic it starts with episode 155 the five spirit guardians on december 8th 2020 now if you watch my other videos i mentioned that this will most likely also result in a brand new opening so black clover opening 13 could very much be very very soon ahead of us but with that being said guys there is some more news you need to know in the last couple days, it has been revealed Tatsuya Yoshihara, the man, the myth, the legend, the main Sakuga behind the Black Clover and the sole savior of the Black Clover anime, will now be promoted to chief director of the Black Clover anime. From now on, Ayataka Tenamaru is the new director of the Black Clover anime. Besides, he said he's also doing key animation on jump adaptations right now. So... The director we've had since episode 1, the, math, the man, the myth, the legend, Yoshihara, who did Yami's Mana Zone, who did Asa's Transformation, who did Asa's Black Meteorite, who did a lot of work on almost every episode that we can even count, is now being promoted to Chief Director. Well, as you can see here, this is from opening 3, Ayataka Tenamaru was the character director and he was credited in opening three. He then was absent from opening four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then returned in Black Clover opening 10, Ayataka Tenomaru. Ever since Black Clover opening 10, so opening 10, 11, and 12, Ayataka Tenomaru has been, and for the record, for those of you that know, no, this was director Tatsu Yoshihara in opening 10, but since then, Ayataka Tenomaru, a screenshot from opening 12, has been the character director. Now, a lot of you might have noticed that the Black Clover anime, ever since episode 120, give or take, pretty much exactly when Ayataka would have came in, has started to look a lot better. Now, I don't know if this is true, but I'm going to credit this to Ayataka. But also, in opening 12, Ayataka Tenomaru, and once again director Tatsu Yoshihara. With episode 153 released this week, this is now changed. Ayotaka Tenomaru, character director, has been removed, which will most likely be updated next episode, and Yoshihara, from director, has now been changed to something I can't exactly read in English, but to chief director. This can also be seen on Anime News Network, the Japanese staff of the Black Clover anime. Let me just move this quickly here. Chief Director Tatsuya Yoshihara, Director Ayataka Tenomaru from episode 153. There is also new animators, Kanichi Katoi, replacing Kaizuki Federusu from episode 153. So a lot of things are changing with the Black Clover anime. But what does this mean? What does it mean? As having Yoshihara now the chief director because he's pretty much been promoted. What does this mean? Well, chief director 
versus director. What is the difference? So I did some Googling. As now the difference between chief and director is that chief is the leader of the head of group of people. So he is pretty much the leader of the whole Black Clover anime project organization while the director is the one who directs the person in charge of managing the departments or dictates so the director manages pretty much each department the sound department the voice department give or take example example while the chief director manages the whole project in the past black clover did not have a chief director yoshihara being promoted to chief director gives him power power is important in the anime industry having power and a name behind that power as yoshihara does and he's very famous in japan is going to be extremely good for the black clover anime in an overall scale this is going to be very very good on top of that the responsibilities of a chief director chief officers and directors make key business decisions that give an organization direction in fact chief officers can direct but most companies desire split between the two professionals meaning there is a difference between director and chief director this is because chief officers have a clear stake in a company's success the black clover anime success so far for the last 152 episodes has been down to Tatsuya Yoshihara himself. He has solo carried the Black Clover anime for the last 152 episodes. Black Clover would have failed without him. That is just a fact. Ayataka stepped in at around episode 28 and he was credited in obviously the first opening, opening three. And he's been with Black Clover ever since and he's now being promoted to the official director of the Black Clover anime. He's done an excellent job so far. But what does this mean on an overall episode to episode basis? Now, everything from here on out is just speculation. None of this could happen. This is just speculation, but it is from a credible source. And this has happened in the past with other du directors being promoted to chief directors. But basically, to clarify the possession of a chief director generally equals to less involvement, especially direct involvement on an episode to episode basis. As you've all known, Yoshihara has presented himself on pretty much a lot of the episodes in the last 153 episodes he's worked on over 40 episodes the man is an absolute mad lad but from now on that will be handled by tenomaru from now on now the person does go on to say i don't expect much change of role but the big episodes might be less flamboyant than before so obviously there is some bad news but on an overall scale yoshihara is moving up in the world and he is being promoted. I do also want to show you this very quickly. Now, this is kind of a cartoon thing, but it pretty much kind of also makes sense in a way. So anyway, so in an annual income revise, this is from Shirobako posted a, a, quite a while ago. People start at animators, animators in Japan. They then work at part-time production assistants, CG animators. And this is, by the way, the, the higher you go, the more money you make. So Philippines animators sadly make the least. Japanese animators, very sad to see them so far on the low. But then they go part-time makes more. Uh, production assistants, CG animators, episode directors, series director, which was Yoshihara, and now chief animator. He is now the chief director of the Black Clover anime. Now, obviously, at the end of the day, I posted this on Twitter. I am very grateful for the last three years we have had with Tatsuya Yoshihara. The man, as I said, is an absolute mad lad. He's done an excellent job on whatever he works on next. I, I'm truly happy to have had Yoshihara for the last 153 episodes or 152 I really do hope he still helps out with the Black Clover anime, but I'm excited for the new anime new anime director, Ayataka Tenomaru. At the end of the day, we saw a drastic change in Black Clover when Ayataka came in uh, ever since opening 10. So I'm excited to see how Ayataka handles Black Clover going into 2021. A very, very important year for the Black Clover anime. As soon as it starts doing canon, it's going to blow up exponentially. And I really hope the manga does blow up with it. But on top of that, guys, that is pretty much the end of this video. We have lost the man, the myth, the legend, Tatsuya Yoshihara. But hopefully Ayataka can lead us into greatness. Hopefully Yoshihara still 
does some work on the Black Clover anime, but overall, now that he's a chief director, he has more power in Studio Period, and I really do hope he delivers much greatness for the Black Clover anime. At the end of the day, he now has the power to buy new animators that are permanent on the team to increase holiday, to increase work, to have a better working environment, to overall increase the quality of the Black Clover anime as it has increased since ever since episode 120 onwards i don't know if you've noticed it but i've very much noticed it we've had a lot less wonky faces etc etc and overall the episodes have just been so much better example episode 151 was just chef kiss but with that being said my name is Simi, as always if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe i'll see you in the next video my name is Simi, as always peace